Hello everyone, my name is Chaos in the Sky, and welcome to a little bit of an impromptu uh, playthrough that I'm going to be doing on the channel. I wasn't planning this, and I'm sure plenty of you have you've been watching many of my series recently, Xenoblade and Digimon, you know that I wasn't planning this, because there wasn't supposed to be anything new going on in August other than No Man's Sky. But, here we are with a new game that came out about two weeks ago, I think? I'm recording this on August 1st, I don't know when this is going to go up. Uh, probably in the first week of August, but it came out mid-July, I want to say like the 15th or the 16th. It's called Song of the Deep, clearly, by the words on the front of the screen. Uh, it's like a $15 game, it's supposed to be a 2D kind of underwater platformer combat puzzle kind of thing. It's got a couple of different things integrated into it, but it's basically, you know, 2D side-scrolling puzzle combat kind of deal. I don't really know how to describe it. It was kind of hastily described to me while I was at GameStop the other day, but Apparently, this is a game made by Insomniac Games and then funded by GameStop, from what I understand. It's uh, GameStop's first kind of venture into going and funding and kind of making games. And they're doing it with Insomniac. And uh, Insomniac did the Ratchet & Clank series. They did a few, if not all, of the Spyro games. I don't know if they did all of them. I know I, they did a few of the Spyro games. And they're doing the new Spider-Man that's coming out. And, you know, just the trailer of the Spider-Man game that's coming out... Uh, for the PS4 makes me trust in anything Insomniac can make, to be honest with you. But here we are, Song of the Deep. So I'm gonna, it's like 15 bucks, and uh, I was told that it was pretty worth it. So I had, a, I was at a GameStop and a couple of different people, employees and not employees, said that they had uh, played through it at least a good bit and they enjoyed it. So I figured, yeah, you know what, it's 15 bucks. I'll pick it up. Could be a fun little short thing to do, but we're gonna be, let me check options really quick. Subtitles on, uh, that doesn't matter. Brightness language is English, I'm pretty sure. Uh, difficulty, we have beginner, intermediate, and advanced. We'll play intermediate. But anyways, let's uh, jump into the Song of the Deep and see what this game is all about. Uh, oh, it lets me choose difficulty again. I'm going to play on intermediate, because I'm not entirely sure what to expect of this game, so I don't want to jump into advanced. Marin loved the sea. She loved the sound of the waves calling to her through her window. She dreamt every night of the mysteries that lay beneath. Her father was a fisherman. Each day he went out to sea, and each night Merrin waited at the rocky cliff edge, holding up a candle to guide him safely home. The two of them were poor. Their roof was leaky, and they sometimes went hungry. But as long as they had each other, Merrin knew they would be okay. At night, her father sang her songs about his great adventures. He sang of giant leviathan serpents, haunted caves, and a lost city of gold beneath the sea. Merrin knew the stories weren't real, but she loved to listen to them. She drifted off to sleep, imagining the wonders of the world below. And her life continued that way, simply and happily. Until one night, her father didn't return. Marin held up her candle at the cliff's edge all through the night, staring out at the empty sea. She shivered in the cold wind as she watched for him all the next day. Her eyes welled with tears as night fell again and there was still no sign of her father. At last, she collapsed into sleep. In her dreams, she saw him, trapped deep beneath the sea calling to her for help. She awoke with a jolt. A desperate and dangerous plan was already forming in her head. She took scraps of metal and wood her father had caught in his nets and pieced them together. She hammered and bolted, she measured and sawed. And before the sun had set, she had built a tiny, rickety submarine. With trembling hands, she squeezed inside and dove down beneath the waves to search for her father. There is no way that submarine is up to code. Also, where are my subtitles that I definitely turned on? Giant clams won't pass up a free lunch, but they are very picky. Okay, well, we're apparently in Glow Kelp Forest. I guess that's like World 1. I don't know how long this game is. But I mean, it's like, it's like 15 bucks, so I imagine it's not more than 10 hours, but I could be totally wrong. 
Use boost to pull stubborn objects free. Sonar can reveal things where the searchlight cannot. A lot of information I don't know what to do with. It looks like the loading screen works by the little scribble going along the bottom of the screen. Cuddle, cuddle pups enjoy following glow bulbs? Okay. That's a little weird. What the heck is a cuddle pup? Bioluminescent plants bestow gifts to those who find their true brightness. Okay. So what are we doing here? Ah, I got control now. Alright, pretty cool. This kind of reminds me of, uh, just the look of the game off the start. Kind of reminds me of... Rayman, uh, Origins. And something else. I thought of the name of the other game I was thinking of and then immediately forgot it after I thought of it. It looks pretty nice, though. But uh, let's see, what can I, what can I do here? Buttons aren't doing anything? Okay, apparently I can't do anything. Can I go through here? Too much, uh, current power there. So I guess I go this way, then. Through the glow kelp. The beneath the waves shimmered with mystery. Glow kelp bulbs lit up around her as she passed by. Do I not have subtitles? Why are they turned off? You guys saw me turn them to on, right? There. Is it good now? It says it is. Let's see. Hopefully it works now, because it's really annoying if it doesn't. What's down here? What's this? Erin spotted some odd-looking old coins. Maybe her father would know where they were from. Unless her father is dead. Then she'll just have to settle with becoming Batman instead. Although she's poor, so I guess she won't be able to manage that. I imagine I'm supposed to collect all these coins. There's one thing I've learned from, uh most games. It's to collect all forms of currency that you find. I want that coin, but the current is too strong. Gimme. Looks like you don't have to, like, touch them completely. You just gotta get really close to them. What is this? Hello there. I knocked over this conch shell. Shell? Shell? Conch shell. That's how you say words. Can I push this? Yes, no, maybe so. It doesn't look like it. Alright. What do we have this way, then? flickered and danced on the sea floor like an underwater fire her father once told her about a mysterious living energy called time could that have been a time wellspring seems legit to me oh okay what oh no oh no i was saying like all right so i see what we got going on here with the water currents and then immediately got pulled away by one Oh no, there was another one right there. I didn't think there was another one. Get out of there. Go, go, go. You can make it. No, Marin, 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 what's your name? Marine, Marin. I need to hear the voice lady say her name again. I can do this. I can turn this around. Ah, I can't turn it. Okay, you know what? Let's just go all the way back and stop wasting time. Here we go. Here we go. Timing chaos. It's all about the timing. Now I know that this third spring of water is here. There we go. There we go. Made of clockwork gears darted out of the way as Marin approached. She wondered who could have built such a curious creature. Marin. It's pronounced Marin, I think. All right. What is uh what is that? Can I get to that? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. So is that like plus 5 coins? Is that what that was? Is that coins? Coins go to the top? Yeah, coins go to the top right. Alright, so that was like a, a five-point coin. Got it. Where am I? What is this? Magnetic claw. A versatile magnetic claw capable of grabbing, pulling, and attacking. I like the sound of that. Marin approached a glowing scrap of metal and pulled it inside. It was claw-shaped and had a strong magnetic pull. She took out her tools and attached it to a firing mechanism on her steering column. Alright. Can I, uh, hit the spring? Doesn't look like it. Marin spotted shock nettles ahead of her. She had to be cautious, as the hostile creatures would attack her on sight. Okay, I get it. I was doing it wrong for a second there. Now I understand. Give me this. And then I aim and I just press to throw. Okay, it didn't work like I thought it did. Never mind. I didn't know what the heck I was talking about. Yeah, I don't understand how to do the whole throwing thing. 
There it goes. It did it that time. Do I have to put some momentum into it? Maybe I have to put some momentum into it. Now I'm getting it. All right, so that's my health down there. I don't know what the electric thing is. Is that like how much uh, magnetic power I have? I keep holding square, thinking I have to hold the stuff. But uh, definitely need to um, get away from me. Ow. Stop that. You stop hurting me right now. Die. 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 Thank you. I keep, I keep thinking I have to hold square, but you only have to, uh... You only have to tap it. Oh, no. I got dangerously close to me. All right. Yes, the claw can pick up bombs. Thank you for the obvious. Does this, like, heal me? Did that heal me? I don't know. A sleeping guardian blocked Merrin's path. She knew it all too well from her father's stories. And she knew it must never be woken. Time to wake up, buddy. Let's go. Oh, dear. It shoots bombs at you. All right. I understand now. Whoa. That is fast. Take that. According to her father, the Guardians had been built by ancient undersea explorers called the Fomori. Marin always thought the Fomori were a myth. Ah, uh, well, she, she clearly... Her father's other stories might be true. Interrupting me. She clearly did not know that uh, she was a video game character. Then she would have known that all myths are 100% accurate. I need a bomb for that, I think. There's a green... There's like a... Wait a minute. Is that a Chaos Emerald? There's a Chaos Emerald over there. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. We gotta go grab that Chaos Emerald. Undying Caves. What the heck is uh, this? Just something I can throw, I guess? Okay. The old statue reminded her of her father's lullabies about the brave and beautiful Marrows. Get on there. Doesn't look that beautiful to me, but whatever. Teach their own, I guess. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder and all that. What just happened? Oh, the game was saving. Oh, these are checkpoints. That's what the time things are. Okay. Now I get it. The claw also damages enemies. Yes, yes it does. Where am I going right now? Is there an enemy nearby? Take this just in case there is. I keep holding square. I don't need to hold it. You just hit it once. Do I have to steal that and take it to the other one, it looks like? Give me these. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. I said gimme. There you go. Didn't want to come off. Oh no! Enemies. What the heck is that thing? New enemy found. Get in there. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, dang it. Stay away. Stay away from me. Where's my conch shell? Oh, magic conch shell. Destroy my enemies, please. Not a sea urchin. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. No, it's ruined everything. Sea urchin, why? Get out of here, you. There we go. All right, cool. I'm starting to get the hang of this, bit by bit. Oh, no. Oh, do they just keep respawning? Do I just need to leave? I'm just going to leave. See you later, suckers. I'm out of here. As Marin explored... She sketched the terrain on a sheet of cartography paper. Her father had taught her that those who make maps are never lost. Look at these little, like, eels. Look at them. They're so cute. All right, this is pretty cool. What's that X? Is that where I'm supposed to get? Let's see. Treasure, item, gate, shop, warp, and tine well. Okay. So that was Glow Kelp Forest. And then now we're in this, uh, yeah, Undying Caves. All right. A huge hermit crab watched Merrin from a rocky ledge. On his back, he carried a vast array of odd-looking treasures. Yo, man, you wanna... seemed to like shiny objects. Maybe he would be willing to make a trade. Of course he likes shiny objects. All right, cool. So this is where I spend money. Concussive Claw increases the Claw's damage by modifying it to strike with a concussive blast. Uh, attack range by infusing additional Titan energy. Increases the claw's damage. Increases the frequency of Titan drops. And electrify the claw to damage all enemies within a wide area. Ooh. Titan charger. Increases the rate that your Titan energy automatically recharges. Repair more of the ship's hull with each health pickup. Increase the amount of Titan energy that is automatically recharged. Extend the range at which collectible objects are magnetically pulled to the ship. All right, cool. Come back to that. No, you get away from me. Come here, you. Get out of here. Get away. Only takes two hits to kill these guys. That's pretty good. Get out of here. Look at these little eels. They're so adorable. I like them. What do we have this way? The map will always have a marker for your next destination. Oh, okay. 
So I need to go up this way then. I'm going the right way. Cool. What do we have up here, I wonder? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, that was a that was a bad position for me. Are these different than before? They look different. Get out of here. Maybe they aren't. They're still dying in two hits, so maybe I'm just insane. Oh no, it's the stupid sea urchin things. No! No! Sea urchins, please. Ow. Pain hurts. Pain hurts real bad. Make it stop. All right, I'm low on health. I gotta move. I gotta move. I need some distance. Look, I'm leaving like a little black smoke trail. That's so cool. Oh, I got back to full health. Awesome. I guess these also heal you, which is what I originally thought they did before I realized they were save points. What's this? A clam. Hi. Do you want to eat me? It's not every day I say that. But, uh, okay. Stupid sea urchins, man. Get out of here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, punk. Yeah, get wrecked. 